Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a little tip here on how I have my Google Chrome browser set up. A lot of people keep asking me, what is your favorite browser and how do you have it set up and what are these icons over here and how come your bar looks like this and mine looks different. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys a couple tips here on how I use my Google Chrome browser. So first of all, on my favorite tabs here, uh, these are my favorite tabs. For example, I'm, I'm Mark the Geek, uh, YouTube channel, I got the Google Play Store, I got the Flip board right here which is also synced to my account on my phones and tablets i also have amazon here because amazon is like the number one source i always go for shopping online and that's it so for example if i close my browser and i open my browser again it's always going to open up to those tabs right there that's awesome so let's say you want to set this up right let's say you want to add adobe spark Right. I want to add Adobe Spark. Um, I also want to add uh, Pixlr and I want to make sure when I open up the browser every time I always get these tabs as well. The only the only thing you have to do is go over here here. Right. Go here. It says settings. Open a specific page or set of pages. Click right here. It says set pages. And right now you're going to see all the pages that are set up already. Like see here, you got four pages. But right now, if I want to set up these current pages that were added, you got to click right here. It says use current pages. Click right there. And now it's going to add your current pages right there. And it's going to add it in the same order that you have it here. Now, let's say you want to add this one over here and this one over here and this one over here. So you go back over here, right? And use current pages again. And like you see there, it automatically aligns again. Everything gets back in order on the way you want it. So click OK and you're done. When you close up your browser, you close up your browser, open up your browser again. And from now on, these are all the pages that is going to open. Like you see there, it's going to open when your browser opens up for the first time. Now, this bar right here that you see, this is the bookmark bar. How do you get it? Very easy. Tap right here again. Uh, right here it says bookmarks. Right here it says show bookmarks bar. By default, it's going to be off. This is how it looks is going to look by default, but I like having my my bookmarks here and I have I like having folders. So you got to go ahead here, bookmarks, show bookmarks, click on it. And now you're going to have your bookmarks. Like you see here, I created a folder here. I created a folder for news, a folder for shops, folder for tips. And this right here, since you uh, activated the bar, you're always going to have this right here it says apps. Apps is actually going to show you guys all the apps that you have installed in your browser because in your browser, you can actually install apps, which is pretty damn cool. And this is the web store where you're going to install these apps from or download the apps from. Or like you see here, these bookmarks, like you see there, these bookmarks have icons only and do not have names like these to do this. All you got to do is, for example, the, um, right click here on one of the, one of the tabs, right? Or one of the bookmarks, click edit and here delete the name, delete the Adobe Spark name. Never delete the URL. The URL is the most important thing. That's that's what's going to take you to the page. Click save. And now you got it. Now you have a little icon there. Now, some web pages like Pixlr, like you see here, it doesn't have an icon, which kind of sucks. That's why I just leave it there. I use it a lot, but I leave it there with uh, with the words because it doesn't have a cool icon. So that's why I leave it there. So now let's go and show you guys the extensions that I always use on my browser. The first one right here is the Google Cast extension. Uh, this right here, if you have a Chromecast, you know what I'm talking about. If you have a Chromecast and you click right there, it's going to take you here. It's going to tell you your living room cast, your room cast, your fire TV, your Roku stick is going to show you everything that you can actually sync or stream your screen of your browser to it. So if I tap right there on the living room, it's going to automatically change the Chromecast that's on my living room. And now I'm going to be able to look at my browser through the TV on my living room. That's really, really, really cool. That's really cool for example, apps or web pages that do not have like a Chromecast feature for applications. So you could do it from here, like go to ABC or CBS or NBC and cast the browser to your TV. And that's it. You, you could watch the videos from there. And here you just click stop casting and that's it. 
The next extension here is a calculator called Calc SS3. Uh, right, when I tap right there, like you see here, you're gonna see a calculator which is very similar to the iPhone calculators. I really like the way they look and you can also change the form factor of the calculator as well by clicking there. And you could use it here by tapping on using the touchpad or you can also use the keyboards on your computer, which is very cool because it recognizes the keyboards of my laptop. A lot of calculators do, do not recognize that, and but this one does recognize the keys of your laptop. Um, to download it, all you gotta do is go to your, click right here, uh, go to the Chromecast, right? Uh, right here, you could go to this this website, which I'm going to leave the link in my description. Uh, from here, it's going to show you some information about the, the the calculator and all that, how it was made. And from here, you could go ahead and download and install. It says right here, install go, uh, from Google Chrome Web Store. Click right there. And there you go. It's, it's going to take you basically to the Chrome Web Store which you can access it from your browser like you see there and all you got to do is click right here it says add to chrome and that's it it's going to add it to your chrome browser um the other extension that i use a lot is this one right here it's called push bullet uh push bullet is awesome for iphones for android for tablets for everything um here is a very cool um application that lets you share um, files and websites and links with other persons and a whole bunch of people at the same time and I use it here religiously uh, so right here I got people here I got all the devices look at this all the devices that I'm using the push bullet so I can if I want to share a specific item or link to a specific device all I gotta do is click it right here and it'll send it to a, that specific device um, here I can also send uh, SMS messages as well and here I got notifications. So if somebody calls me or if I receive a text message or if some, uh, some application in my phone opens up, I'm going to get the notification here as well in my browser. To install Push Bullet, all you got to do is go, of course, always go to the Chrome Web Store and search it right there. And it's going to be right here. It says extensions. And there it is. Once you have it installed, it's gonna say it's gonna be in green because you have it installed. My next uh, extension is this one right here. It's called Google URL Shortener. I use that a lot for my videos. And what it does is, for example, let's say I want to make a shortcut, a URL shortener from this. I click right there and this is the url shortened i i can copy it and it's going to copy it to my clipboard and then i could go somewhere else and copy and and paste it there um you can also choose a qr code so i could use this qr code and share it or i could see detail and i can see all the detail like see here this is from google url shortener so it's really cool it's one of the best extensions for google url shortener um, and I really, really like it a lot. I use this option, uh, especially when I'm going to make a link from an application. Like, for example, if I if I have this application here from this web store, right, and I want to create an app, uh, a shortcut, I just click right there, click copy. And let's say I open up, let's go ahead and open this note application right here so I can um, copy it here. Let's go ahead and click um, new note here and click paste it and there it is that's how the sh the url is gonna look like instead of being this long it looks this short which is pretty damn cool and it's gonna work perfectly good no problem whatsoever so all you gotta do is search for it in the google chrome web store and it's gonna be right there this is how it's gonna look my next extension is this one right here is called awesome reload all tabs button and it's very very self-explanatory what it does is you press it and it will automatically reload every single website or browser that you have open that's the only thing that that button is going to do and it's very 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 convenient um all you got to do of course is just um go to the chrome web store right here and just search for it just search type in awesome reload all tabs and you're gonna get this right here it's gonna be right here let's go and wait for it there you go awesome reload all tabs button it works flawlessly and it does what it's supposed to do reload all the tabs just by tapping on it that's it
My next extension is the Google Hangouts. Right here, when I tap on it, I can easily start texting or talking to all my members of my family or my friends and receive text messages. I can also receive, send um, emojis. I can send stickers and all that. And when I get a, a text message on my phone, it automatically, this is going to pop open. And it's very, very convenient having it here. That way you don't have to have your phone on you. And you can have a conversation here that you see there without having to touch your smartphone. So, yes, this right here is the Hangouts. And, of course, same process. All you got to do is tap right here, Hangouts. And it's going to appear really, free, really fast. It's just going to appear. And once it appears right here, you see there, Google Hangouts. Just go ahead and hit the Add to Chrome button. And it's just going to add it to your Chrome browser. This extension right here is Save to Pocket. And what it is, is an extension for pockets. You know, the, uh, the popular application that lets you save websites or journals or uh, blogs and all that and sync it through other devices. This is what it is. So, for example, if I'm on a website right here, right, and I want to save this article right here so I can read it on my tablet or on my cell phone, all I got to do is tip right there. Tap right there, and it's automatically, like you see there, turn, change colors. So automatically, it's going to be saving it to pockets, and that's it. Once it changes color, like you see there, it like reloaded. It automatically, if I open the application on my smartphone, I'm going to see the uh, this article right there on my smartphone, which is really, really good. And my last extension that I use here is Lightshot, which is a screenshot too. Very, really cool. All you got to do is tap on it. And once you tap on it, it's going to open up a tab. And from here, I'm going to just select the area that I want to screenshot right there. If I click just like that, bump. And now you have a whole bunch of tools over here that lets you do a lot of things. I could save it to the cloud. I could share this. I could save it to Google Drive. I could um, um, print it. I can save it. Um, here I have other tools. Of course, the option that I use the most is this one right here that says save. I click on there. And right here is going to say a screenshot. I could say um, um, page or whatever, web page, page. And I can save it to the desktop if I want. Save it to desktop. Uh, the format, you have the format. Just leave it like that and click save. And that's it. And like you see here, it's saved to the desktop. So right here, let's go and open it up. And there it is. Look at that. There it is, the screenshot. And the great thing about that screenshot button is that it's just a little button. And it's very, very simple to use. So there's nothing really complicated about that. You just tap on it. And the great thing is that you select the area that you want to you know, that you want to take a screenshot of. So if I want to take a screenshot of this alone, I could do that. Click right there and just click side name it and click here again, desktop and just click save it. And that's it. Look at that. So now I have it right there and you have the other one right there. Very cool. So of course, same process as before. If you want to download, just go to the um, Chrome Web Store and search for it here and it's going to appear like this light shot screenshot too and that's it so guys uh this is it just wanted to share this video with you guys so you guys can see all my setup how i use chrome browser on all my devices especially on the computers so i hope you guys like the video let me know how you use your chrome browser and what is your favorite browser is it chrome browser or is it safari or is it other browser whatsoever just let me know Thanks for watching the video, guys. Till next time.